we get a lot of bad news in Alberta pretty much all the time. More debt, new taxes, high unemployment, the government is suing itself. Every day it's something new. But I'm pleased to bring you a glimmer of hope today. Rachel Notley's disapproval rate is at 37%. It's low for sure. People hate her about 8% more than they hate Wild Rose leader Brian Jean, and that's such good news. If you dislike Rachel Notley, guess what? You're a normal, red-blooded Albertan. But there's more to this story. Rachel Notley is on the same trajectory as Alison Redford. Remember her? At the time, it felt like it couldn't get any worse than the disgraced former PC leader, Alison Redford. Her staff was mean, abusive, and obnoxious. The PC sense of entitlement was rampant. They were building crazy things like Sky Palace and charging us for all their fake airline passengers. When Alison Redford took power, she was at a 55% approval rating. Rachel Notley, right after she was elected in June 2015, was at a 53% approval rating. Alison Redford then saw a slow, steady decline, the exact same decline Rachel Notley has been on for over a year now. January 2014, Alison Redford's approval rating was 35%. Then three months later, after yet another travel scandal with Redford charging taxpayers $45,000 to go to Nelson Mandela's funeral, her approval rating plunged to 18% and she resigned in the disgrace she so rightfully earned. So the good news is, with Notley's approval rating at 37%, we are really only one good scandal away from Rachel Notley reaching Alison Redford's level of popularity. And we know the NDP back then in 2014 said the PCs had lost the support of the public to legitimately govern with so low approval ratings. But would Notley do the right thing and resign like Redford would? No. At this point, I don't think Notley is as ethical as Alison Redford. And when I think of unethical politicians, Redford is somewhere near the top. But here's the hopeful part. If we learned anything from the PCs and their wild ride to the bottom, Rachel Notley will drag her party down with her, just like Redford did. And the NDP will be obliterated in the next election, just like the PCs were. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.